Hey everyone, this is Bray's Ways. Hi, how you guys doing? Today, I'm into the 4th of July. I've taken the liberty of taking, taking some um, faux chocolate pieces that I had made out of molds with my uh, plaster of Paris. And I had made those last year. And I thought, you know, they would look so cute if I painted them red, white, and blue. So I started doing this last night. And I don't know if you can see, it's still a little messy job. I still need to give them a couple of more coats or so. But this is how they're starting to look. They look really, really cute. And I wanted real quick to just show you how I was doing this. I had just basically just taken, like I said, the, the pre-existing chocolate faux pieces that I had made. And last night I painted over them white and now I'm incorporating the other colors so I took the liberty of painting the blue on this one and I will just simply show you how I did the red part so I use acrylic paints from Apple Barrel and I used the white paint the award blue paint and the bright red paint and so I simply just take with a really nice, you know, brush, your favorite brush. And you're just going to just, I hope that, I don't know if you can see this or not, make a division, make a swipe. And then you go in the back on the sides here and the front and the other side. If you painted them white ahead of time, the color will be brighter. Now, if you do what I did yesterday with some of the others, I had these other little bars that I had made. And I had first, you know, just thought of just keeping it the brown color that it was. And I just started simply painting the, the red, white, and blue onto them. But... It's darker it's slightly darker but that's okay because see these pieces that I have here are slightly bigger than the ones that I just showed you so I'm just gonna go with this and so just with the chocolate brown underneath it I'm putting the blue and the white on top of this now right now I'm still on the red part because I'm trying to give it another coat so I'm just gonna show you how I did that as well I just take a little swipe and then I just go over the top, go over the sides, and you don't have to be perfect about it. You can also add glitter to it while it's still wet, or just leave it as it is. You can use the glitter paints that I've shown y'all before. But I think I'm just going to leave these as they are. And then later on, once this dries, I'll come back in you know, with the white and finish that off. For now, I just wanted to show you what I was doing with the faux chocolate pieces that I had handy. Because I do have an idea of what I would like to do, and I'm hoping that I can pull it off. And, you know, I'm trying to just get them to look brighter by giving them a few coats of the paint. I never thought about getting into this faux foods craze, but I do like the way the desserts come out. I don't do anything but the desserts. It could be because I'm part ant and I just love sweets. But anyhow, I wanted to show you this because you know how it is when you get into YouTube and you start creating and you need your videos well you might as well just videotape everything that you come across and your ideas and what you're gonna do right so might as well just do that so I thought this would be a cute idea to show and all you gotta do like I said is that you gotta probably do this in a few steps because you gotta let it dry in between steps you can't just keep putting paint on top of paint on top of paint because what you'll end up doing is rubbing off the the first layer of paint that you put on there 
that's just what happens. You know, you can't just keep painting and painting and painting. You got to let the paint settle and dry, you know, before you go back and give it another coat. But these are really cute and simple ideas for making faux candies that are patriotic looking. And that's that right there. You see this one? And it doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Now, the first macaroons that I had made for Easter, I decided to redo. So I started also painting them different colors last night. And I only got as far as doing half of the macaroons because I had to let them you know stay put and dry overnight so so far here's the white one where I've just painted the top of it the blue one and then because I was working on the red right now or earlier here's the the red one and as you can see it still needs a little bit more red to it and then I'll be able to do the other side but that's what I'm doing right now. And so I hope that everyone is doing well and that you're being careful out there and that you're being respectful to others and, and trying to stay creative with what you're doing. And I will be with you again shortly, hopefully, with another video. But I wanted to to show you guys what I was doing today. So I hope that you will like and subscribe to my channel as I have just started this a few days ago and I would like my my channel to you know get subscribers and I hope that you will share and comment and hit the little bell so that you'll be notified of my next video. So thanks a heap until next time. Bye bye.